It is still the finest act of direction, a fluid cinematographic realization of Batman operating within a modern metropolis, Gotham, within the available library of Batman film adaptations. The performances were far better, far more believable than one would assume a Batman film adaptation deserved. Heath Ledger as the Joker is pretty obvious, but also the strengths of Gary Oldman, Aaron Eckhart, Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Cillian Murphy, briefly, and Morgan Freeman. And while it might not be as smart as its most ardent fans insist, it is a lot more intelligent than its detractors assume it is. Because how could something that so many people like be smart if you think you're smarter than the average person? Thematically, as a series of symbols and intersecting diagrams, smart, fairly so. As a very tight, no plot hole screenplay, yeah, it makes an effort. Don't underestimate how corrupt the Gotham Police Department is. Perhaps they relied too much on Batman Begins, the previous film, heavily emphasizing the point, and so didn't feel the need to remind the audience as much this time around. Although to many a contrarian IMDb user, it made no sense. It does, and where it doesn't quite hold your hand, you can fill in the gaps and ask yourself whether you would have preferred a scene with the Joker leaving the Wayne building after throwing Rachel off of it, a scene where it spoils who Gordon's shady double-crossing cops were, so that it explains how Harvey and Rachel were taken from the previous scenes they were featured in, or that displays Harvey Dent moving from place to place toward the end there, how Joker rigged those two ships with the civilians and the prisoners on them, you know, and before that reveal occurs at that, uh, you want to know how the Joker knew everything was going to happen when it happened, a school bus, the mayor standing by the window, the, um, the getting away from the attempted shooting of the mayor later on in the film, etc, etc. Oh, and oh no, a line delivery was allegedly subpar. No more dead cops. It's not that bad. People were just looking for excuses to dismiss this film insecurely. No, it wasn't the greatest film of all time, but to me at 12 years old, after seeing it, and knowing it topped the IMDb list, I felt... wasn't it? Was it better than The Empire Strikes Back, Terminator 2, Alien, or Raiders of the Lost Ark? I don't know if I feel that way now even, funnily enough. Those are some quality films, especially Alien for certain. Although the seriousness, ambition, and adulty nature of The Dark Knight was so alluring and cool to me at that age, when I saw it on day one of the theatrical release, I still consider it a stellar film, not perfect, although far better than it may have had any usual right to be as a Batman film, and though certain comics featuring Batman had achieved the status of great literary acclaim, Year One, Dark Knight Returns, Killing Joke, or Long Halloween, but one of the film adaptations? Batman 89 was liked at the time, for those who acclaimed it subsequently usually did so in a pop art sort of manner, myself included to some degree actually. Batman Begins was good, many claimed that was prospectively the best superhero film made yet, although The Dark Knight did not only top everyone's new list of best superhero film ever, it topped lists, or was close to the top of, best films of the 2000s in general, and if any film has occupied the status of modern, recognized, iconic, well-seen, highly influential and popular culture classic, this one, for sure. I will always be a fan of this film, whilst I'd avoid placing it on the short lists of very best films ever made, the audacity and energy of the screenplay, cinematography, and overall production is some of the most exciting on record. Everyone on set wanted to rock the world, and they did, permanently. An actor who drove themselves to a psychological abyss and some say to their death before the age of 30, a film director who became one of the most beloved in the English-speaking language overnight, and funded some of the few non-existing, pre-existing IP Hollywood blockbusters that still remain, in fairness to him. The quality of those films might vary for some of you, I don't know. And the gritty dark serious reskin became the enforced norm. Bourne was one thing, taking famous 80 spy thriller novels and ensuring that they could work and feel grounded post 9-11, James Bond another, Batman Begins started it, and The Dark Knight really hammered it home, and changed everything still. I'll endorse this one, shame about that sequel. Go to Chris Allo from Sea of Tranquility for a more entertaining takedown of that film than I could compose. Let me, let me know what you think, overrated or deserving of some notable praise, or another blockbuster with some pretensions, let me know below. Oh, and honestly, I haven't seen Tenet as of yet, but that aside, Oppenheimer was not that great, or particularly impressive in my rather irrelevant opinion. This, The Dark Knight, is Nolan's best film. Memento comes closest to that claim otherwise. Inception I really like, but 
overemphasizes its dramatic crescendos, though it's, it's pretty laudatory otherwise, I will claim. Interstellar I do enjoy a fair bit, but suffers from a certain unlikable arrogance. Well, if the filmmakers claimed they were composing something closer to Spielberg or Cameron, than Kubrick or Tarkovsky, they might have been forgiven by the cynical crowd, or more so. Dunkirk, nice efforts, but hollow and overbearing. War films post Saving Private Ryan, or Platoon maybe? Hate to say that, I've ranted before, won't again here. So that may, may leave The Dark Knight as the most impressive Nolan film, I'd say. Taking place in an early 21st century media reality, The Dark Knight pushes archetypes to their limits whilst attempting to culturally enforce their ethereal existence. Even understanding the reactionary, sadistic, unabomberesque, anarchic sociopathy of the Joker as the extreme consequence of the contradictions permeating this society's convictions, I'm on board. Let me know if that's an untenable statement. Thanks again, everyone.